What is going on guys? I hope everybody's having a great day. I am currently waiting for some of my buddies to get here and uh, we're loading up the boat and we are going walleye fishing today. This is a little bit different. I don't do this too often. Um, it's just kind of spur of the moment thing. The walleye fishing is really, really good in Lake Erie right now. After places for two types of fish, walleye and smallmouth. I'm actually really lucky that I have Lake Erie within like really close to me. It's only within 20 minutes from me. So today, I think we're gonna do a walleye catch and cook. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I do to catch walleye. This is totally different than what I can almost guarantee everybody does. Um, why I do it this way, I don't know. It just works best for me. No, we are not trolling. We are going to be casting. And uh, you know, I'm gonna just show you guys the whole lowdown. So we'll, you know, I don't know. I'm just waiting for them to get here. Just kind of killing some time and then we're gonna head down there and I'll probably see you guys there in a minute. So for you guys, it's like a second. So I guess I'll see you guys on Lake Erie here in like two seconds. All right, guys, so we're out here. I got the boys out here on Lake Erie. Uh, all we're doing today is I, I'm taking a totally different approach to this than normal people do. I think, Corey, you throw in Erie Deeries. So, like, a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll throw Erie Deeries uh, with a night crawler. That's, like, the typical way to do it. And then if you're not throwing Erie Deeries, you're trolling. Uh, I like to throw just a drop shot, just like bass fishing. I take a night crawler, throw it on a drop shot. And uh, honestly, I think this works better than, obviously not better than trolling, but I think if you're going to cast, like, this is the best way to go, uh, at least in my opinion, when it comes to jigging. <clears throat> when it comes to jigging, drop shots, and uh, you know, Erie Deeries and stuff like that. So we'll actually see, since Corey's throwing an Erie Deerie, we'll see who catches more fish, drop shot or the Erie Deerie. So we're gonna throw it over the GoPro and uh, hopefully get into some walleyes, boys. All right, one Dom boys. with the first one. One down, boys. Nice, well, I wasn't recording, but Dom just hooked up with another eye, so we got two in the well right now. I got that one. Whoa, coming out, boys. There you go. Good job, though. Boys. All right. You got it? Yep, Man, Dom's just laying them out. Yeah, it's another eye. That's a decent one. Yeah, Here, keep his head down. Keep his head down. Yeah, well, I... Man, I tried to prove a point with the drop shot in the Erie Deary, but today... Okay. Right. There you go. Yeah, look at the chub on that one. That's a decent one right there, buddy. There we go. Got the tunes jamming. Dom's over here laying them out. Heck yeah, dude. That's what you got, boys, right there. That's a good Lake Erie walleye right there. Not a huge one, but for casting, that's good. You got him? That's a beautiful fish right there, buddy. Good picture. Ain't too bad. There you go. Third one, yeah? Yeah, that's a solid cast. Dope. That one mine, Grant? Well, I didn't think I was gonna do this. Normally I do fish a drop shot, and I probably will later on when it gets a little bit cooler, but since we're kind of still like early on in the day, I'm gonna throw an Erie Deary. Seems like it's working for right now, but I'm gonna cut the drop shot off for right now and try the Erie Deary out, I guess. See if it makes any more of a difference. This is like what most people cast with, the worm harnesses and stuff. I don't really like fishing them that much because I don't do that good on them, but I guess it's always good to change it up and try something different, right? So. Fish. If this is a walleye, it's big, dude. No, yeah, I'm on. Oh, it is a walleye. Um. Nope. Woo! <laughs> um. Ah, why not? So this would be two for me if I didn't lose that first one. Little guys, but I'm not complaining. We got a couple more to add to the add to the money pot. Get her in there. Oh, there goes my shades. Got a good good old stack of eyes, baby. All right, well the Erie Deeries are kicking butt today, huh? I say. We move out of the point. I don't know. I have an idea. Let's just try it. Yeah, let's try it. You know, fish. Oh. No, it's off. Right here. Yeah, right in front of me. There's one. It's 
It's a walleye. Little one. Um. Yep. Oh. Yeah. I believe it's like 14. Six. <laughs> yeah, it was I know. Uh, well. <laughs> He literally just shot out of your hand like a torpedo. <laughs> he was like, Dude, the only the three I catch, two of them ended back up in the water. Oh, I just got dumped. Come on, come. oh, there he is. Got him. Feels like a decent one if it's a walleye. Oh, I don't know if it's a walleye. It feels too big to be a walleye. Oh, it's a good walleye, boys. Let me just get it in the boat first. He's barely hooked. Oh, that's the best one of the day yet. Um, let's. Oh, dude. Oh, no. Dude, that was that was a pretty big one, dude. That was in the 20, probably 20 range. Oh, there's another one. Oh, right there, dude. Dude, I'm rolling him off of like 10 foot of water. Right here, he's sitting right here. Oh, he hit it again. He's like literally right at the surface. Figure eights for a walleye. This might be a good one, Jordan. Hard to tell a little bit. All right, go up. Oh, All right. He might not be. Dude, they literally- Oh, no! Dude, dude. Two foot of water. Like I had him figure 80. I know. Oh boys, we are getting annihilated here. Yeah, that's a good one. That was like the last three we lost though. Hold that up. Hey, that's my boy. There you go. There's one. Yeah, cast straight out there. Feels like a good one. But not like that one. Dom, this rod, this is super Look at that. I didn't even yeah. take the hook off. Thanks, man. Oh. Dude, heck yeah. Pick your rod up, buddy. Filling up the live well, boy. There's one. That's a walleye. It's, yeah, it's gotta be. Dude, this is dead weight. I don't know. Hey, give me a, give me a hand here, buddy. Ooh! I get a hit and I miss him. I do too. I hit them. They walleyes. They'll like nip and you just gotta slow it down and keep bringing them. Yeah, that's a good one. Ready? I'm just gonna flip them in. <laughs> just like I fling them in, hoping for the best. That's a good one, dude. That's all right. It's about the average size we've been catching. Yeah, boy. Ow! Spiked me, you sucker. Pop that open for me, will you? No, the live one? Oh, yeah, I got you. Oh, I love it. <gasps> oh! Oh, there you go. Got him? There you go. Oh, ah, drop him down. <laughs> yeah, Corey, just meat hand it. There you go. All right. That's a good one. Yeah, there you go. It's about time you're hitting him. Right there, right? Right by the boat. That's a little guy. But hey, flop him in. Oh, yeah. Here. Here, let me start in there. Oh. It's so relieving when you know they're walleye and not sheephead, you know? Oh, that's a good one. 
longer one. Oh yeah. <laughs> or the sun just going down. We got a freaking bucket, boys. It's down here. Alrighty, guys. So we just got off the water. Uh, we were out there for what? Three hours, probably. Yeah. Ended up getting like a 12 bucket right here. So we're going to flay them up real quick. And uh, then we're going to cook them. So we got to get to flaying. So we got all the fish filleted up. It's actually the next day. I didn't have enough time to actually get this whole catch and cook done in one day. So we moved on into today. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to woo, exactly how to cook these walleye fillets. Um, this is how I like to go about doing it. Uh, I change it up a little bit every time, but this is a simple way that you can do with your household items. And uh, yeah, I think it tastes pretty good. So I'm going to show you guys how I do this. And we're going to start off by doing this by just throwing some oil in a pan. So I got oil in there, and we're going to turn this heat up. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be searing this walleye and uh, while that heats up, we're going to move over to these fish. The ingredients you guys are going to need to do this is going to be raw honey, seasoned panko, salt and pepper, butter, and then just your fish fillets. We have our fish fillets right here and like what I like to do first is just throw a little bit of salt on them and a little bit of pepper. So that's all we're going to do. We're going to hammer those over. We're going to flip them over, do the same thing to the other side. And voila, there we go. And then from here, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna take this honey, you guys can see this right here, and uh, we are going to actually grab a spoon, this honey, and throw it on the back end of this spoon, like that, boom. You can see that right here. And we're gonna take this and just, I mean, I guess you could use a brush too, but we're gonna, we're gonna brush a little bit of honey on these fillets right here. So we're gonna do that, put the honey on there. And then once that's all sticky and got honey all over to it, we're gonna take this panko and uh, we're gonna put a little bit of that in my hand. We're gonna take this panko and just throw some panko on there. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing to the other side. We're gonna flip that over, flip it over. Ooh, baby. Now that we did that, boom, we got our seasoned fillets. It's just a quick little seasoning, I like to do that. And then we're gonna go back to this pan. So we're gonna check and see if this oil is hot. You gotta have that pan really, really hot to be able to do this. So I'm gonna check if it's hot enough. I'm gonna get some water from the sink. I'm gonna dip my hand under the sink and just throw it on there. So I'm, you're gonna get like a sizzle when you flick that water on there. It's not quite there yet. So we're gonna let that kind of brew up a little more. And then uh, when that's ready to go, we are gonna drop the fish right in it. Try this again. All right, boom, you guys hear that sizzle? That means she's ready to go. So we're gonna take the fish from over here, and throw the spoon in this thing. And we're gonna take that fish, and we're just gonna lay it right in that oil. Oh, make sure you do it away from you because you're gonna, you're gonna get burned if you don't. So we're gonna lay that down, toss this out. This guy down a little bit. All right, and then we're gonna position these guys a little bit over the side. And the goal is to not move these as much as possible. So those are cooking just fine. Got the heat turned on a little bit. And now we're gonna take our butter and we are gonna take another spoon and uh, You're gonna spoon some butter in here. Now, what a lot of guys will do is they'll take like thyme and other herbs and stuff like that and throw that in here, but uh, we're just gonna do a little bit of butter, maybe add a little bit of more salt and pepper, but uh, we're just gonna get a good base of butter in there and we're gonna let that melt. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna throw a little more in that butter. I'm gonna throw some salt and throw some pepper. By all means, you can use whatever seasonings you like. This is just the easiest way. 
I think, to do it. And uh, okay, so now that that butter's all melted, we're just gonna take that butter and we're just gonna start, well, we're just tossing that butter on top of those fillets and just get them all nice and buttered up right there. It looks so good. These uh, sides start to get a little crusted up, get a little brown. We're gonna roll that fillet over. It's a little early. All right, so I ended up flipping those a little too early, so they kind of fell apart a little bit. I mean, they're gonna fall apart either way, but I mean, the more careful you are, the better it'll look, but you know what, I, I probably could have left that on there a little bit longer, but that's all right. We're gonna roll that around and uh, after we do that, what we're gonna keep doing is we're just gonna keep on sliding those fish over, turn that pan down, and we're just gonna keep basing them in that butter. Really keep them moist. Just makes them taste so much better. Alrighty guys, and then uh, when it's done cooking, all you're gonna do is take it off that pan. It's kind of falling apart, which is because I'm kind of being quick on this. But uh, you're gonna throw it down on your plate. I'm using a lid here. Why? Because I just don't feel like dirtying a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna throw this, these pieces of walleye down here. Completely fell apart, but it's okay. And uh, oops. Making a mess here. Throw that here, get rid of your pan. And voila, bon appetit. From here, we got nothing left to do other than to dig on in. So I really like doing it this way. Um, this obviously isn't like a full dish or anything, but you take it. Um, so good, it tastes so, so, so good. I love eating it this way. I love eating walleye. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys like these catch and cook videos, let me know, leave a comment down below and I'll do them more often and maybe I'll actually do full plates or something like that. Um, you know, I have a little bit of a background in a restaurant if you guys wanna see an actual real deal walleye dish or something like that. But uh, this is just what I like to do. It's nice and simple. You can do it with everything that you have in your fridge at home. And uh, yeah, it tastes great. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next episode.